birthday, I have a little haul for you, plus my December Julep Maven box. Um, I totally forgot to skip it. I don't, I think I accidentally deleted my email telling me that the pickings were even open and I forgot all about them. Um, they did use some really, like, really cute festive paper. And this box only has two nail polishes in it. Um, when I got my shipping notice I wasn't expecting from them, they whoops, said that the eyeshadow that apparently was coming with this month's box um, was being shipped separately for some whatever reason. Um, you get the little card that tells you about the referral program. We got a little allergy thing that they always include when they put in food because they included two of these little peppermint puffs I already ate one. I love these things so much. Oh, they would have they could have, they would have just sent me a box full of those, I would have been happy. Um, I got a little thing, a little coupon for 30% off my next purchase. And then just the thing about, it's called um, the Countdown Collection. And then this is a picture of the eyeshadow that we were going to get. I mean, there were different colors. This is just um, like what the packaging looks like. So they're orbital eyeshadow. And this is the color Supernova. <clears throat> this starts out as a sheer shimmer, but it can but can be layered to um, like a bold metallic color. I think the one I got, the color I got, I think is Eclipse, which is kind of an. I looked all the colors up like after the fact, but um, it's a. Uh, I want to say it's like a gunmetal gray. It's like a grayish color, which is right up my alley. So. Um, and then I got my two polishes. First I got this one, which I cannot pronounce this name. It's S-O-I-E-I-L. For those wondering, and this is the close-up of it. And it is a kind of rose, there, that's a little, it's a, like a rose gold metallic. And here is it swatches with two coats. It is really pretty. I don't like metallics because they're streaky, but this one, this one's streaky because they're all freaking streaky. But this one like self levels to where it actually isn't very streaky at all. And with a top coat, you wouldn't notice the streaks. And the color is really, really pretty. And it's pretty festive, I think. I think it's pretty festive. And then this is my other color, and this is Paula. And it, to me, I think it looks purple, but it's described as a Persian blue. And I think it actually looks more blue on camera than it actually is, but it's got this gold shimmer in it. And here's its swatch. It is gorgeous. I don't really think this is very festive or Christmassy, but it definitely will be a good color for winter, but also because it's not super dark, would translate into the other months as well. And that is what I got in my mason box that I didn't know I was getting until I got it. And then these are just a couple of nail polishes that I have bought over the last month or so because I haven't been really buying very much um, because of Christmas. Um, I do have three enchanteds coming to me from the last pre-order of the last two monthlies of the year and the holiday for 2014, the holiday color for 2014 as well. Those three, I ordered them, she did the pre-order about two and a half, almost three weeks ago. Um, still no shipping notices, but I know that um, she um, to give herself a lot of time to get all the orders ready. I know that she says that not to even expect the shipping notice for at least four weeks, or not, no, that it can't take up to four weeks to ship. So hopefully soon she'll start getting the shipping notices out, but I did get these ones. I bought this one. This is my very first lily pad lacquer, and it is in the color peachy. And this is really pretty, like a holographic peach color. And here's it swatched out. It's a really pretty color. Obviously, you can tell I kind of bought this one more for spring, but it's a really pretty color, so why not? Um, 
this one I got, and it is a Colors by LaRoe. <laughs> it's called Blow It Out Your Ass. And I'm not even going to lie. Like, it's gorgeous. Look at that shimmer. But I bought it mostly for the name. And it is not available anymore. But here's it swatched out. So gorgeous. Love it. And then last but not least, um, during Black Friday Thanksgiving time, I wasn't going to buy anything. Um, but Urban Decay was having like free shipping. So I bought myself one thing that I had been wanting of theirs for a while, and it was a bottle of nail polish. This is my very first Urban Decay nail polish, and I freaking love the packaging. I got it in the color Zodiac, which is this really nice shimmery green. And I love the skull on the top. That's so fucking cute. Then it helps with Urban Decay on the lid. And I love it. I'm contemplating getting another bottle of this color because it's actually really sheer. Like this one, it can't, this is its swatch. It can easily be, it can easily be built up. This is four coats of it. It can be easily built up to the color that's in the bottle or it can be put on top like of a black or a white. I would probably suggest black and I think white would look good. But it's really sheer. And I was planning on making like a dragon egg. Has anyone seen those? Where you like paint the thumbtacks with nail polish and put them in the on the and you stick them into the, the foam egg shape. I think that's really cool. And I saw this color and thought it would be the perfect color, but because it's so sheer, I'd have to use a good two, three coats on each scale and that would take up a lot of polish depending on how big the egg I wanted to make. So I was thinking about I might pick myself up another bottle of this another day because I did get a I do have a code for 10% off so I might do that but I haven't decided yet. Oh and then this is a super cute box that came in and what I like is that it tells you the color on the top and the sticker is the same color as nail polish. And then with my purchase I got like a free little you know how they give like the free little sample cards or whatever. I got a little sample card that had four itty bitty little blister samples of lipstick, of their Revolution lipstick, which I have been wanting to try for so long, but I don't, I don't want to spend $22 on a lipstick not knowing if I like it or not. And then they came out with that little, oh, that little, the full frontal set where you get six minis for like $39, and I'm like, I like the one that but the colors I got is this one, which is Liar. This one, which is Rush, which is a lot like Liar. Like, they, I think Liar is just slightly, it's up, like, they're, they're different colors. Just it, They're the same color, just one lighter than the other. Then I got Streak. And 69. 69, I've heard a lot of people rave about it. It's like a perfect red, apparently. So that'll be awesome. Can't wait to try those out. I will probably use all four of them, but I'll probably, if I was to repurchase one of them, it would probably either be Streak or 69. I don't see myself liking the nudie ones too much just because I don't, I just don't know if I'd like them as much. But, so that is my video for today. Um, it's really all I've gotten. I've been so boring the last couple little bit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, there's that. And, hmm. Um, yes, yeah, so, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, may, hopefully before Christmas, I will have three more Enchanted. I might actually have six more Enchanted before Christmas because there's, um, now Polish Canada is doing a restock, and I have a Canadian friend of mine who is um, going to try to get me a few when she gets herself some. So hopefully I will have a couple more. So I will talk to you later. Bye!